Hello, welcome to the Slippy Limits video. We are out in the middle of nowhere in the uh, in the Cheviot Hills or in Northumberland. Um, I'm hiding in the boot of the car because the wind is howling um, and that's part of the reason why I'm here. Um, got a few days off work and ideally I would have been out on the rocks chucking some lures around but there's uh, really strong winds, uh, quite heavy rain and also uh, big swells which means that they're just a no-go so do enjoy a little bit of fly fishing um, especially on sort of small streams and rivers hunting uh, wild brown trout stalking them if you will and uh, the idea is I found a piece of water that's hopefully out of the wind it's just down there need to find my way down it's probably going to be a bit of bushwhacking uh, but it should be a bit of an adventure as well uh, the weather is a bit it's expecting 10 miles an hour wind but it, it's way stronger than that so hopefully my plan's right once we're down in that valley there so i'm gonna get my waders on and uh, gear up and uh, try and find a way down should be fun Whoa. it's a big bag full of stuff hopefully the horses don't kick or bite us well there's a little glimpse of the river down there looks mountainous looks great come on it's all hawthorn bushes up here I hope it's not going to be like this for the whole way down. Just trying to follow this water course because uh, these hawthorn bushes are really thick. If you don't know what a hawthorn bush is, they've got really big spikes on them. Oh, I love this type of thing. shallower than I was expecting but I think uh, I've got access to both banks here so I'm gonna kind of work my way up try and find any sort of deeper pools it still is only 10 degrees so I'm assuming the fish are pretty low in the water yeah the, the process is just as much fun as the catching in this sort of scenario so, uh, let's make my way up this river and uh, and enjoy it. So the colour of that, I think that's uh you know, someone will probably correct me, but I think that's copper. That's why it's a blue colour. Gonna keep whipping this water and finding the creases, hopefully. And uh, hopefully, the little trout sitting underneath. There's insects on top of the water. I don't know what they are because my entomology is rubbish. But uh, it's a good sign there's, there's insects and hatches around. The unfortunate thing is, uh, I just can't see any fish rising. And this wind's getting even worse. wind on the surface of the water here I made the wrong call about coming to this place because this is like a wind tunnel not a wind shade wind break we're gonna keep going up Thank you. 
next pool. This is the slowest pool I've seen for some time. Pretty deep as well. Just gonna fish this gully for a little bit. sitting here watching this pool as I've been sitting here I've just seen a little fish feeding it's only come up once in 20 minutes um, but it's a fish it was just there in those bubbles I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna bother putting a dry on it's just it's too windy for us I'm not a good enough caster to uh, to get a decent presentation so I'm going to try the nymphs on it. It's only risen once, so it's not feeding actively on the surface. So, uh, and it's quite a deep pool, so hopefully um, the nymphs will do the business. Oh, I can't believe it. I've been going for about three hours now and I've not seen a single fish. And then start casting. Yes, I can't believe I've seen a fish. Kind of indicates all the, uh, the effort in a way. This is all part of the test of fly fishing. Yes. Just gonna try and creep up along the bank here. see that that was a good fish as well i think it actually took my indicator oh, i can't believe it that wasn't the fish that i saw rising but that that was a much bigger fish it's hard to tell but i think it actually took my indicator um i think i'm gonna maybe give it five minutes let it rest and then uh come back i don't know what i should do maybe i might put a big big dry fly on with a with a nymph underneath it help get the turnover in the flies oh, that was a good fish that <laughs> right so I don't know if this is going to work but I've tied a big daddy long legs on it's probably going to be di really difficult to cast this into the wind but I've tied on a little um little gold headed nymph on a dropper to the daddy long legs hook and hopefully the extra weight of that nymph will help turn the fly over, the dry fly. Then I can also fish deeper as well if the fish aren't taken off the surface, but I can use the daddy as, a, as an indicator. <laughs> That's the theory anyway, let's see if, uh, if that fish is willing to bite again. The wind's just a killer. Um, I'm just going to sit patiently and wait for a break in the gusts and then, uh, and then make a cast. better presentation. Oh. Oh. 
He came up and took the daddy, snapped my line, three pound line. I don't know how that just happened, but it took the daddy and it, my leader broke. Um, Fishing barbless, so the fish shouldn't, the uh, hook shouldn't stick in the fish. Oh, it came up from the depths, I saw it. Took the daddy. Oh, how frustrating. So I'll probably whip this pool enough now. Um, that big fish uh, uh, took the indicator and then the daddy, he's, uh, he's long gone. I kept whipping the water and I thought I'd just knacked uh, my chances, but um, that little fella, he had another go right at the end there, but uh, missed it and then uh, whipped the water again and uh, he's gone. That wind is a real pain, but I'm gonna just head up around the corner and see see if I can find another pool like this to fish. Uh, I was really surprised to see the fish come up for a daddy long legs um, and an indicator for that matter, but uh, yeah, let's get packed up and move on. <laughs> 